doing problem 615 from the fundamentals of chapter 6 and we'll be continuing our yeah these are problems based on the frames and machines section where we have to dismantle every part of um, the frame or machine that we're given and then solve for all the forces that are acting on that one piece okay so in this case we're trying to find uh, let's see 100 newton force applied to the handles of this plier, right? Uh, and exerted on the smooth pipe B. Okay, so smooth pipe is you know take you don't take friction into account. And then we want to find the magnitude of the resultant force at pin A, right? So we know pin A, right? So we'll have some reaction forces there. So we're gonna either you know there's two choices you can do. You can either look at I guess this part of the you know this part of the plier okay or oh my god or you can look at um, this part of the plier okay and that's what we're gonna that's what I'll choose it seems like it it kind of just sticks out right um, so, oof, this is going to be hard to draw, but let's, actually, you know what, I will just draw it here. So I'm just going to draw all the forces on this part, that way I don't have to draw it and make it look really messy. So, what are the forces acting on the top part of the plier where we have, you know, we have A, Y, Let's see, we have a force um, down, so the smooth pin or the smooth tube exerts a force downwards, and let's call it NB, right? Because if we draw the free body diagram of just the tube, right, it's going to get a force this way and this way, right? Two compressive forces, right? So then on each end it's going to be exerting a force this way and on the top side uh, this way right a third law pair right here and a third law pair right here right for all you physics majors remember that okay so those are the three oh and I forgot uh, let's see if NB is going this way then I'm gonna draw AX going this way okay so we have AY, AX, NB, right, and this 100 Newton force. And they also give us this 45 degree angle here, okay? So if I were to, you know, if I were to draw a vertical line here, like, you know, kind of like a dotted line, wow, that's pretty straight, or it was pretty straight, okay? If I use this uh, auxiliary vertical line that I drew here, I know that this is also 45 degrees and 45 degrees okay so I'm gonna take advantage of that so because of that actually let's draw here I know that NB it's gonna have an X component okay so if that's the 45 degree angle here this is N B Y and B X, right? I know that this will be N B cosine 45, and this will be N B sine 45. And now all our forces are in the x direction and the y direction, right? So we use our static equilibrium equations because we're doing statics, right? And then we're gonna have minus. 100, oops, sorry, let's do in the x direction first, so minus ax uh, plus, plus mbx, which is plus mb sine 45 equals 0. And then we do the fy, right, and you'll see what, we'll probably end up running into a problem, we're going to have to do a moment, all right, so then we have ay minus 100 and minus NB cosine 45 equals zero. 
all right I'm also giving these distances okay so I know the distance between A and uh, B is actually I don't even, I don't even need to know that uh, and you'll see why we're gonna take a moment so here I have two equations and three unknowns right so we need a third equation actually yeah three unknowns so we'll do moment about a okay that eliminates two unknowns okay doing the moment about here and we have our distance so the perpendicular distance from a to b right to to the force nb this is force nb right and we know this is the perpendicular distance because it's 90 degrees right I know that this distance is 0 0.05 meters, okay, or 50 millimeters, right? So I don't have to do MBX times some vertical distance here, right, or MBY times some horizontal distance, which we can get, but we're not going to do it because it's much easier. So let's do moment about A. So moment about A is 100. Newtons times the distance of 0.25 or 250 millimeters. Okay, and that's going to make it rotate counterclockwise, so we have it positive. And then we have uh, NB is trying to make it rotate the opposite way, so it's minus NB times 0 0.05 equals zero. All right. This gives us that NB is, oh, oops. This gives us a total force of 500 newtons. Okay, so thanks to this lever arm, we're able to we apply 200 newtons, and we what is that? Uh, we pretty much double it, right? We over double our force on this thing because of these lever arms. Okay. So we have NB, so we have here, so we found one part of the problem, so the clamping force exerted on the smooth pipe B, okay? So we know that the pipe's being squeezed with a normal force of 500 newtons, and then we just plug that back into these, um, into um, equations, uh, I guess, one and two, okay? Here, when we do the arithmetic, right, we move everything to the right side, we'll end up getting uh, AY is 453.6 newtons, give or take, right? And then plugging it here, we get AX is 353.6 newtons. All right, so those are the components, and they're asking you the magnitude of the resultant force at pin A. So we know to get the magnitude, right, we do AX squared plus AY squared. Okay, and this, when we plug that into the calculator, we end up getting 575.1 newtons for the magnitude all right yeah so that's that's all um, that's all for this problem pretty quick right just isolate one part always break down your forces into x and y like i've been preaching for the last 60 videos or however many right and then proceed doing your problem right and um yeah so and if we wanted to get the, you know, if you wanted to get the direction of that, you just do the inverse tan, right? But we won't do that, but because they don't ask for it, okay? Of, uh, I guess, a y a x, okay? But yeah, so we, but we do know that it's going to be pointing in this direction, up and to the left, okay? All right, guys, thanks for your time. If you have any questions, comments. Uh, just comment down below and don't forget to hit the like button and, um, and subscribe. Thanks guys.